All right. Hello, everyone. This is Gail Nicholson back with another episode of the Corona Spotlight 2020. Today, my guest is going to be Christine McIver. She is the founder and CEO of Inspired Choices Network, which is a network of internet-based radio shows. Um, I used to have one on that network a long time ago in collaboration with some other women and I absolutely loved it um, but the reason I'm having her on specifically today is because I want you to know how having an internet radio show can actually increase your visibility during um, this stay-at-home time this lockdown quarantine for coronavirus so without any further ado I'd like to introduce you to Miss Christine MacGyver hi Christine thanks for joining hi, me Jim. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm glad that we were able to reschedule your conversation so quickly after the technical difficulties that I've had, uh, that I had last week. So thank you very much for that. I'm very happy we were able to reschedule as well. I was really looking forward to it. I was like, oh, okay, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, that will hurry up and wait anticipation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been an in interesting week with changes coming down with, you know, Zoom getting so busy, which is great, um, but finding a few little security holes and the new things that we're having to put in place around Zoom meetings. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, you won't really have to worry about that too much with your internet radio, correct? Because you've got a contained system that has been working <laughs> well for years and distribution that has gone off the charts since you and I last worked together, right? Yes. What what year was that? Like that was what three years ago or at least four? I want to say like 2016, maybe no, even yeah, before perhaps. that, 14, 15, maybe. Wow. Yeah. Well, time yeah. has flown. Well, I have. Um, I started in radio, Gail, in 2011, mm -hmm. and started to produce in 2014. I mean, my background is not in <laughs> producing, and it was just offered to me one day, and I was like, okay, you know how it's like, okay, what else could I add to my business? And it, I was asked by the owner, "Have you ever thought about producing?" And I'm like, "No, I'm an HR professional. I'm a business coach, you know." And it was like, "All right, well." well Oh, let me show me what it's like. Like that's the type of person I am. Just show me what it's like and see, see if it would be fun. See if it would be a fit. And six months after that, I was the least owner of that that, that platform. So that platform was a to Zen FM that you know I cut my teeth on, mm -hmm. and I met a lot of people. I had some wonderful shows um, that were created through that platform, and and then, you know, as my business was speaking to me and pulling on me it really wanted to have its own it wanted to create its own and so that's where the inspired choices network was uh, birthed out of and so we launched in 2017 but all of the shows and all of the hosts that were on the the other platform that were part of my umbrella they, they all came over we brought everything over so it was in one one space one home and so we, yeah, we've been doing this for years and the time has flown. I, I cannot believe that we're already in our fourth year for the network. Cause honestly, it feels like it was just six months ago for me. Isn't um, it things amazing? Just, it, it is amazing. And then, then there's times it's like, oh, I just wanted to slow down so I can just enjoy it just a little bit more because it's so beautiful. But it's so fascinating to me how many, many people are having to slow down and you know sit and wait as you said there's a lot of sitting and waiting right now and i'm busier than a one iron paper hanger with an itch <laughs> <laughs> same here strangely <laughs> enough you know right. i have been i have never been more busy than i am right now you know right. and how how fabulous is that you know i'm doing a, a radio show my own radio show tonight and and it's called uh, now is you were now is your time you were made for this time. And, and, and so it's interesting when you, you contacted me about doing this interview, I was like, yes, I would love to share with people. There's so many people out there that they have been preparing mm -hmm. and, and educating and training. They've been in training their whole lives, whether they realize it or not. And then some of us wake up consciously and go, Oh wow! I need to to hone in on some more, some more of my capacities and and 
and begin to step into it. And it, you know, I was having this conversation recently with someone and it was, it was, you know, you've just been forced. The universe just stopped you dead in your tracks and said, okay, we're not waiting for you anymore. You need to step up now. And that's really what's going on with a lot of people. And I can feel their, their hesitation in like, should I, shouldn't I, I don't know how to do it. And they, you know, they go into, as we all do with, with something new, they go into a lot of worry and concern and there's a lot of noise out there. And there's a lot of ways that you can do things on, on the internet. And, you know, the internet is something I love. I, I'm, I'm a technical geek and <laughs> I love learning new programs. It cracks people up and, and I could, I could just dive in for a long, long period of time. And so for me, when we were creating the, this platform, I wanted to make it so easeful, Gail, so that you could show up mm -hmm. and you could do you. You could talk about what you do without having to learn technical, without having to learn how to do everything else, that you could just really come and be your brilliance. And, and that's what we've created. And, and so well, that's one of the magical things that I absolutely loved about being on the network with you um, back when I was with Women of Wonders, um, because, uh, you know, I was responsibility responsible for deciding who I wanted to play with for the for the mm -hmm. week. Right. My guest mm -hmm. um, yes. and what that show is about. But then I showed up and all of the stuff that I didn't know how to do was handled. It was yeah. all handled. The marketing was handled. The production, you know, like behind the scene was handled. I, there were people that were helping me, you know, like stage my guests. They had arrived on the phone line, but we weren't ready to talk to them yet. So they had them um, waiting and stuff. And, waiting. and I didn't have to do five billion <laughs> things all at once, right? It, it yeah. really was awesome and an enjoyable experience to show up play for a while and then have all of these little pixies behind the scenes making their magic and making me look good it was awesome yeah. and we absolutely love doing that and you know my invitation to anyone out there that is curious just curious about doing this and i've had conversations with many people over the years and you know, right away they they're they're deeply into the how. How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? And I try to say, okay, Gail, instead of worrying about the how right now, tell me about you. Tell me what turns you on and lights you up. What is it that you know that you can't stop talking about? Mm -hmm. Tell me that, because if I can have you be there, don't worry, girl. We got you. We got you. We'll take care of all of the rest. I mean, I've had people from. From, you know, I had this one woman, she barely, and I'm not exaggerating, barely knew how to turn on her computer. And within two weeks, she was so proficient at coming in and doing her show. And, you know, you can do it from anywhere in the world. Yeah. And, you know, one of the big things for me over the years and looking at what I'm doing and, and what I do on a personal coaching level and from a business coaching level, as well as with the network is one of the big things that's been pulling on me is until your voice is added to the conversation, the conversation does not truly begin. I believe that so deeply within me, Gail, you know something I don't know. And I know something you don't know. Mm -hmm. And together we can make something beautiful. And I really know that what's going on for each individual in the world, especially today, we need to hear about it. Mm -hmm. We need to hear about what someone else knows that can support the next person. Right. There, there has never been a more powerful moment in time than this moment right here, right now. And if I can facilitate getting more voices into the world to change the world, girl, I'm going to be flying. Like I, it just lights me up when I hear people on the radio and they are so potent and they're so powerful. And it's so mm -hmm. fun because they go after their show, they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that was going to come through. And they're, they're, they're just so happy with themselves. Mm -hmm. And you know, when we get emails from listeners and how it's changed their lives and how it's impacted their lives and, and how it was just what they needed to hear today. I mean, that is just yeah, it's just it's beauty to me. It's beauty. Well, 
that's funny that you should say that because I it, it always calls to mind um, 20, 30 years, who knows how long ago, decades ago. Um, I gave um, one of my open talks in early recovery and a woman came up to me afterwards and she said to me, that story that you told about the rose bush the last time you spoke, she said, that stuck with me and it's, it's made things easier for me and I just wanted you to know that. And I, that moment, in t- like I said, decades ago, I still carry it with me in my heart. One person saying that something that I said made life better for them or easier for them or helped them handle something with a little less chaos or stress i'm tearing up right now as i think of it that's that's what this that's what community is all about and it's what we're missing out on so much of right now Mm -hmm. with not being able to be in groups together and um, connecting like in physical proximity to each other where we feel each other in the Mm -hmm. space, right? I know. So we have visual, we have words, um, and and each of us have the ability to voice that in whatever way. Even if we're non-vocal, we can type it. We have uh, uh, the ability to say what there is to say. And quite often... It's that one person needs to hear it and Mm -hmm. it makes a difference for everyone. So thank you for being somebody who is a portal for that in the world that is so much needed, especially right now, Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely, it's my pleasure. By the way, your last show was April 27th, 2016. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Yeah. So it was nearly four years ago, hon. Yeah, literally. I think it, it, minus I think it's two time, weeks. <laughs> I think it's time for you to get your butt back over. <laughs> you think? I do. <laughs> you know, the other piece that I really want to invite people to, um, if you're not being pulled today to to bring your voice on the platform, that's okay. Come on over. We have over 5,000 shows in our library you can listen to, and they're fantastic and I probably produce two-thirds of those shows Mm -hmm. and as well as we have a live interactive chat room so if you're looking to connect if you need to connect this is some place that you can go and you can listen and you can type and you can ask questions and you can interact with our hosts and Mm -hmm. you know will that create something for you today will that create something um, to create a little bit more ease in your life. You know, we, we started a show called Water Cooler Conversations mm-hmm. when the whole pandemic thing started. And it, we just show up. We just show up and talk. We have no plan of whatever is going to be said. And it's just, it's wonderful for people to just come together and to talk and mm-hmm. connect. And this is an opportunity for you to do this without worry and fuss. And, you know, I'm going to toot my own horn. We, we are, we live stream your radio show on 54 platforms around the world. So it's on the internet, on many, many different places where people go to listen. That's phenomenal. And then after that, your show is automatically turned into a podcast. So there's no editing. Mm -hmm. There's no time delay within five to 30 minutes after your show is done. We have your podcast out there on more than 50 platforms everything from Apple Podcasts, Google Play, to Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. You are going to be on the best of the best. And, you know, people, wherever they are, what their special space mm-hmm. they're, that they go to listen, they're going to be able to find you and enjoy you. And you're going to be able to really be more visible on the, on the Internet around the world. That's I mean, I think we're just, I think we're so blessed at this time to have the Internet. <sighs> And yeah. to be able to reach out and touch, it's like, oh, it's fantastic. Absolutely. Now, that water cooler conversation show, when is that on? That is on Monday mornings mm-hmm. and Wednesday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, gotcha. Awesome. So that is 10 Central, 9 Mountain, and 8, eight Pacific. Pacific. <laughs> That's as far as I can go. Right, right. <laughs> right. We have a website for time converters around the world. Yes, if you'd like me to put the link up, we could do that. Um, yeah. I, uh, I've taken to um, 
letting guests know that they are um, one, two, or three hours older than me. Because <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be the easiest way to dissect exactly what time is that in my time zone. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and then the other, the show that you're doing tonight, which I think is yes. absolutely timely for everything that's happening right now. What time is yes. that gonna, going to be on? That's going to be on at 8 p.m. Eastern? Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, 8 okay. p.m. Eastern. Um, and so that is in what? Five and a half hours. Mm -hmm. And the show is called Our Time Is Now. Awesome. Awesome. Our Time Is Now. And, uh, you know, and I, one of the very cool things about having your own show, Gail, and you'll know this, yeah. is that whatever content is asking to be spoken to, you are speaking to others and to yourself. So it's so funny for me how many times I will go to do my own, my show and I'm speaking, like it's coming out of my mouth and I'm like, and I'm in my head going, are you listening, Christine? Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Yes, that's <laughs> happened quite a few times to me too. Right? And so, yeah, I would love for people to come and join me. You can join in the live chat room. You can call in. You can get us, you know, if you're not in Canada or the U.S., you can call in via Skype. I mean, everywhere around the world can connect on our network. And, uh, and tell me what you know. Tell me what you know. I, I want to know what you know. And... Um, Let's see how we can really take advantage of this time to change the world for, for the future. Because it's in our hands. It, it's up to our choices and the actions we take collectively. You are 100% correct. Absolutely. It's up to us now. It really it is. is. It really is. All right, my dear. So <laughs> where can people find Inspired Choices Network? inspiredchoicesnetwork.com uh, you can find us on all social media platforms of course Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn Twitter, Tumblr YouTube, SoundCloud <laughs> you name it we're all over and, nice. and, and as I said uh, go to your favorite podcast or radio live radio show platform look for Inspired Choices Network if we're not there send me an email I will get us on there nice very nice. Excellent. Now, do you have any final thoughts um, for everyone before we, we close this down for the day? I do. Your friend and mine, Sherry, what, what's Sherry's last name now? I'm sorry, she changed her name. Sherry, that was part of your show. Oh. Oh, my gosh. It's yeah, so I'm drawing a blank Thanks. now that she's Hold lost. On. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Okay. Sherry, Sherry L., R. Taylor. There you go. So okay. Sher Sherry Taylor said something when I first met her and it has stuck with me and I, I'm going to share it with everyone. If there is a book that you are thinking about writing or there is a conversation you're thinking about speaking to, there is someone out there looking for that book. There is someone looking for that conversation. They're looking for that information. If it's constantly coming up in you, please pay attention. Someone is seeking that. And, and that is something I'm so grateful that she told, she told me that many, many years ago. And that is something that stayed with me forever. And when something keeps coming to me and keeps coming to me, I'm like, oh, someone's looking for this. I have it. I'm the channel for this. So That's what are you the channel for? That's beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me today, Christine. And My good pleasure. luck with the show tonight. And thank you. By all means, everybody should be looking for Inspired Choices Network and listening to some of those podcasts. It's not like you don't have time, people. It's right? really not like you don't have time. So <laughs> have a fabulous, fabulous week and see you soon, Facebook. Bye, everyone. When you open well, energy work makes that recovery progress so much faster. That recovery is possible. You do not have to live as a victim until your last days. You have unbelievable strength and I know that because you're still here. Do you want to create something completely unrecognizable with your life? I can show you how.